back to another vlog. We're starting off today's video at a random mall, Northwoods Mall in Charleston. It looks a little rundown. It's like the epitome of a mall in the year 2023, but I'm here to pick up some angels from the angel tree. I was trying to do it online. I usually go online every single year, like no matter where I'm living. And there's a little website for your chapter of the Salvation Army and you can pick your angels online. But I guess Charleston doesn't really do the online thing. You have to drive to an actual tree to claim them. If you don't know, the angels off of the angel tree is a thing that Salvation Army has done for probably like a decade, not even a decade. It's a decade? A century. Probably a century. But you pick children off of the tree and they're people in your community who meet certain requirements and need help fulfilling their children's Chris Christmas list for this year. So I always go and pick a couple off. I actually did a TikTok shop with me last year of picking my angels. I didn't really think that it was gonna go crazy viral. I just thought like my followers would see it. But I believe the last time I checked it has like 30 million views. So you may have actually seen that video, but I'm doing that today. I wanted to get a jump on it because last year I waited kind of until the last minute So by the time that I posted about it, it was too late for people to participate in their areas But I want to do it at the beginning of the month this year so that people have time and then I'll probably do another round Towards the end of the kids that unfortunately just haven't gotten chosen Don't ask me like too much about the program You'll probably have to research that for yourself because I only know like what I know I'm not affiliated with it whatsoever I don't know what happens with certain gifts Some people say the gifts just get dumped everywhere and separated You're not actually choosing for an individual child um, um, but I'd like to think that I am. I don't need to know all the ins and outs of it I just need to know that I'm helping someone in my direct area So that's what I'm here to do. I'm here at this little mall because apparently they have a tree I did call Salvation Army and they they sent me here They don't they sent me a website, but the website doesn't have anything on it So I think this is my best bet. They also had some at Walmart um there's like a couple random places, but this is a mall and there's some stores here that obviously I can go get some gifts out afterwards. So this is the start of today's vlog. I hope you're having a great day. This is day two of 15 vlogs that I'm going to post in the month of December. So if you're not subscribed already, make sure to subscribe so you're not missing any of those videos coming up. But without further ado, let's go pick our little kiddos for the month. Well, I can't find the actual tree anywhere. It's going to be awkward if it's not here. Okay, I found it picked out my angels. I'm scared to show too much information on the front because I do think it has some like numbers and identifiers, but I'm going to go shopping for them now. I'm juggling so much. I'm focusing on like one kid at a time. So I have a boy and a girl that I've shopped for at H&M. I got them some basic clothes. I'm still going to get them more clothes, but I'm not impressed with H&M's kid section. I kind of thought it was going to be better than it is. I've still got quite a few to shop for, but I need to go somewhere that has a cart so I can lay everything out because carrying everything around and trying to like sort what's for what child is too difficult. I'm gonna have to go somewhere that has a cart, so maybe like, do department stores have carts? I don't know. I might just end up at Target so I can lay everything out in, in a basket. Went over to Children's Place and I think this is a better place to get pants because if I remember correctly, yeah, Children's Place puts buttons into the waistband so they're kind of, like if you buy like a slightly bigger size, like some of these kids have ranges from like eight to 10 for sizes, so I'm gonna get a 10 and then like their mom or dad or their parent can adjust them, you know? If it's them, I think this is the best investment for them right now. I lost track of how many pairs of pants I just got at the children's place, but she was able to give me gift receipts for each individual pair. So hopefully they're able to come and swap them out. So, so far, this is what I've got. Trying to cover that information. I don't even know if I need to, but now I'm in Burlington and thank goodness they had carts because now I can plan a little more methodically, but I've reached the toy section. So hopefully we can get a couple things here. I think I'm just going to go through the toy aisle one by one. This boy likes Legos, remote control car, puzzles, sports ball. Okay, sports ball remote control car puzzles legos i should definitely oh wait are these remote control i think all of these are remote control oh should i get him a mustang that could be kind of fun whenever you get like a um a battery operated toy make sure to put batteries in with it because that's kind of a letdown on christmas morning if there's no batteries in it all right i think this is the remote control car i'm gonna get him he also wants a sport ball so like hopefully that's a basketball or a soccer ball or something i don't know anything about sports there's sizes of these balls this is a full size whatever that means but it's nice I feel like that's nice. All right, he's gonna get the Camaro and a basketball. I feel like I've kind of hit the toy jackpot. I got one guy two action figures, a Spider-Man and an Iron Man. One girl wanted, she put Barbie and I can't tell if that's like actual Barbies or like the Barbie merch that's been really popular with all these brands this year. So I'm gonna get her a little bit of both, but this is Barbie I'm gonna get her because I like her little zipper case. Dinosaurs, some Lego stuff, and then I already showed you all that. But next, I think I'm gonna give up on the rest of the toys here and I'll just go to Target or go somewhere else. 
else but i'm going to look at their pajamas here for kids because most of them ask for pajamas and i'm trying to get some that aren't like christmas pajamas you know that they could wear more year round um because they're going to be getting this stuff on christmas it's not like they're gonna, well maybe they get it before i don't really know how it works but anyways i want to get them something that they can use more than just that one mom asked for educational toys too so i guess i should keep an eye out for a four-year-old's educational toys might have to do some research on that one i somehow managed to lug all of these bags back to my car and i think my next stop is going to be the dollar tree so i can put together like a little hygiene kit for each of them that's not ever on the list but it's kind of nice to throw in there just in case they need it and if they don't need it then whatever they just have extra So far, this is what I found. I've got toothbrushes and toothpaste for all of them. I even found this like Crayola watermelon flavor for like the little kid, cause I don't know, maybe little kids like that. Some flossers, some Old Spice. I think there's like 10 and 12 year olds, so I figured Old Spice for them. Some of the girls can get some clips and some hair ties. And then I got them all one of these. I used to love these when I was little. It's like those little washcloths that you put in water. So I don't know, this stuff is kind of like stocking stuffer vibes if the parents or the guardians would ever want to do a stocking for them. Whoever thought of this needs to go to jail. A Doritos Cool Ranch bath bomb. Seriously alarmed by that, but I do think I'm gonna get some of these Crayola bath drops for that four-year-old too. I don't know. It's only like a dollar. I wish they had more of that Dove Men Plus Care, but I would get those for the older boys, but I think I'm gonna have better luck on this kind of stuff at Target actually, because I think they sell bigger packs that I could break apart. I've laid everything out in my living room so I can just visually see how much I've tackled for each person, and then I went through my PR pile actually and added a couple things for the girls, like perfumes, eyeshadow, stuff like that. So, I have a little pile started for each of them. This guy looks like he has the most, but it's just because those are biggest. Those are like big items. So far, so good. And I started laying out the little stocking stuff for Dollar Tree stuff. I miscounted and I'm missing one for one of the girls. So I'll just go to Target and get her like the same stuff. Or maybe if I have time back to the Dollar Tree, just so it's all the same. This is where we're at. And I just made a list. So it's easier for me to look at through the store of specific stuff that people have asked for and like their sizing and stuff. So I'm going to go back out to Target. Target Ross and what was the other spot? I think TJ Maxx because Bluetooth speaker and Bluetooth headphones I think is going to be best suited at TJ Maxx because they usually have JBL stuff and that's pretty nice. I would say Ross was pretty successful. I even found a Barbie dream house. Well, it's not the dream house. It's more of like a starter condo, but it's fully furnished and it might even come with dolls. I didn't look too closely, but I think she'll like that. And I got some clothes and there's a JBL speaker and like, where are they? Headphones, yeah, here are the headphones. So cross quite a few things off, gonna do TJ Maxx and then Target and hopefully I can get home while the sun's still up. Just kidding, I didn't realize I was like in the same parking lot as Target pretty much. So I'm gonna go in here first and maybe I'll be able to skip TJ Maxx. I might be able to get everything left here. Didn't find as much as I thought I was going to here, but I'm fading fast. I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm gonna just get this stuff and go. Let me show you what I did find. I got some nail stuff for the girl that wanted, um, she said like a nail set. So I got her a foot mask, a hand mask, and couple polishes with a top coat this is just a little gift set that they already had made up one of the little boys wanted a full comforter so i got him this green one because that was the only one they had in full just like a neutral color um and then i got him these like bugs and butterfly sheets to go with it i thought that was cute twins wanted some lip gloss so i got four of the same ones because again i just don't know if it's bad to like give them separate things i don't know i just don't want to cause an argument because they're still like probably in their young fighting stage for the four-year-old i got some legos and this like educational development toy i accidentally locked up my phone for five minutes does anyone do that all the time it says iphone available try again three minutes because i must have been trying password combinations just with the way that i was holding it in my hand anyways i don't know my way home without it so i'm gonna sit here and cross some stuff off the list i didn't get everything probably gonna go to tj maxx tomorrow because it's getting dark and i want to eat oh gosh of course i just crossed something off that i didn't get led lights i think i'm gonna go to five below for those i was kind of expecting wild people to have a cute purse Maybe DJ Max did get the full size comforter. I did get the lip gloss. I did get the Bluetooth headphones. I got the Barbie house. I got nails and makeup stuff. I think I got educational games. Someone wanted a tablet, but I need to make sure their pile isn't getting just like outrageous because I haven't been keeping track of like 
each individual pile. So before I go and buy the tablet, I need to see who it's for and if I've kind of got most of their other wishlist items. No luck in the pajama department. They're so hard to find like just neutral, plain children's pajamas. As in like doesn't have a specific character on it, doesn't have like Christmas stuff on it because Christmas stuff, obviously I want them to wear year round. Um, Character stuff, they hate the character. Kids are weird, I don't know. So I just want like plain solid color. I might have to go to Old Navy, honestly. That's probably my best bet. But the Old Navy here is far away. Shoes also really confuse me. They're kind of daunting for kids. So I don't know what shoes they want. Also, the sizing is not making any sense. I need I need some clarity on that before I buy some shoes. Time to sort everything out. See what goes with what pile. Does this come with a Barbie or not? I think it does come with a Barbie. I think this guy gets the comforter and the sheets. Legos and this toy go to that kid. All of this goes to the older girl. Who should I give the Barbie sweatshirt to? I found this Barbie sweatshirt on clearance at Ross. It's a medium, but it's a junior's medium. I don't know. I feel like sweatshirts can be oversized, and I thought that was cute to one of the girls that liked Barbie. I got two of these black puffers for the two twin girls. I have two twin girls, if I didn't mention that already. Obviously, that's who I keep talking about. I did end up getting a Roblox thing. It was $2.99 at Ross. I don't know what Roblox is, but one of the kids had it on his list. I have these Nike socks for a boy shoe size 10C to 3Y. And then I have a clip-on JBL speaker for one of the boys as well. Pretty sure all of the stuff in this bag is for the 11 year old girl. She wanted a bunch of clothes so I picked her out some sweaters and when I go to Old Navy I'll get her some more like warm weather basics just because this is Charleston and I don't know how long you could really be wearing sweaters here. It's definitely cold here, but I don't know. The majority of the year, she'll be not wearing these. This airy pullover, I kind of want to keep for myself. It was $8.99 at Ross, it was on clearance, but it kind of is giving like Lululemon scuba vibes. And then I got her two pairs of leggings. These are just one size fits all leggings, which isn't the best, but I was kind of confused by her sizing. So aired on the side of caution and just got two pairs of these and then one pair of jeans. So she was a 16 in junior sizing, but it went 15 to 17 and juniors is the odd sizing. So that's kind of what threw me off. But she wears a woman's size nine shoe. So I don't think that they meant 16 children's because those proportions just don't sound right to me. So I got her size 15. So hopefully that's fine. This is for her and that's about it for today. Why am I like forgetting this one kid? This one kid just has two items. How have I forgotten him in every single store? Maybe what does he need? I'll just have to go get him a bunch of like clothes. Video games. But what vid what does that entail? Video games like is there a certain console he has? I don't know. I'm kind of shying away from the video games because I don't know what that is asking for. I'm not even gonna make lunch. Obviously it's too late now, it's like six o'clock. So I'm just gonna skip straight to dinner. It's like a chicken stir fry. I'm completely making up the recipe as I go along. I found this sauce packet in the back of my pantry. So I'm just gonna cut up some veggies and chicken and have it with either noodles or rice. I think I might do rice today because I'm gonna have leftovers tomorrow. I'll either do the rice today or the rice tomorrow or noodles today noodles tomorrow. But I have some bell peppers, some red onions, some carrots, some broccoli, some garlic, some mushrooms. I feel like it's pretty hard to mess this up. Since I was running around all day, I'm gonna have to do some computer work later tonight. They still have like stuff due, stuff to edit, people that I've been ignoring that I need to reply to. Did I mention that I was gonna have a hair appointment today and it got canceled? If I didn't, that happened. So I'm debating if I'm gonna like message around and see if anyone can take me tomorrow before my trip this weekend or I might just go to like Sally's and get like a gloss toner kit and just buy some like professional toner. I don't know if that's a mistake because it could pull red but I really just need it to look good this weekend and then I can always like get someone to correct it early and it usually starts pulling red or looking red or green a week after. It always looks good at first. So I might just try and DIY that tomorrow because it's not looking promising. Oh my gosh, I almost just cut my freaking finger off talking. Got a beautiful spread of colors. I love when this happens. Red, orange, purple. Red onions are not red. That's purple. Green, garlic, and then the mushrooms too. 
I'm gonna try my hand at heating up the all cloud. This is not usually my job, but I know the water just has to bounce around in it. So I think I can do it. That's what you want. You want it to dance around like that. Do you see that little ball? That's the water. But if you're gonna add oil, which is the next step, you have to get rid of that guy because you'll start a grease fire. Probably turn it down too. This place is a wreck. I've said that like every single morning, but what is gonna take the longest to cook? I think broccoli, peppers, carrot. That would be the right order. This is just all the veggies, some minced garlic, salt, and pepper, and that's all that's in here right now. I'm gonna let it get a little bit more cooked, and then I'm gonna take it all out, do the chicken in here, and throw it all back together with the sauce. I don't really wanna have multiple pans. I probably could have done it in multiple pans, but trying to limit it to a one pan meal. Some chicken thighs would have been really good with this, but all I have is breath, but I sliced it up really thin. And this is the sauce that I've been talking about. It's this lemongrass barbecue um, som savory marinade. So I guess I should have marinated it. Oh. Yeah, I guess this is a marinade. Hmm, I'm gonna use it as a sauce and I think it will do the same. So this is the vibe. Got a little color on the chicken. I'm gonna add all my veggies back in here. Rice just came out of the microwave. I live and die by the microwavable white rice bags. You can get it. Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Kroger. Every grocery store has them now. And I'm gonna top it with some green onion. Whenever I'm doing green onion as a garnish, I just use kitchen scissors and cut it directly over whatever it is. So like cut off the nasty part and then cut it directly on top of the food. And I was gonna do some cashews because I happen to have cashews. So let me crush a couple of these up. Look how gorge. I feel like this place is Santa's little workshop because I just made all these little piles into goodie bags because I thought this was kind of weird and random if it was just floating around in the giant bag. Let me explain what I'm talking about. This is what's on the back of the little informational thing and you put them all in basically like a giant trash bag. So the parents get to wrap them, they get to like review everything and you know, they have final say on like what their child is getting. But anyways, I thought it would be kind of weird if the little hygiene stocking stuffer stuff was just floating around in that larger bag. So I thought this was kind of middle ground to wrapping. So they understood that this was all just like a little extra goody thing. So I put all those little stocking stuffers into these little cellophane bags and just tied a bow on them. And that will be, wait, I wanted to give the twins the, where are they? Oh yeah, I wanted to give them the SpongeBob washcloths. This is how I wanted to add those to the bag so that they seemed a little bit more intentional and not just like random travel size stuff floating around, you know? But I did go out to Old Navy and Target once again. I just went to like a different area so the Target was better stocked. And I got a couple more things. I got some clothes for some of the girls that I was having trouble. Like this girl really wanted a hoodie, but this is also the girl that's in a Barbie. So I got her pink and she also got this, but this didn't have a hood. She also wanted a tablet and I feel like she wasn't getting a lot. So I got her the Amazon Fire tablet. It's been a point of contention every year on my Instagram story. If when they mean tablet, they mean iPad. And like, obviously they mean an iPad, but I don't want to give kind of like, what is it? Like a gift horse type of present where now they have something super expensive and maybe their siblings got these instead of the iPads. And if it ever breaks, would their parent be able to replace it? So I just think like these fire tablets is like a safe bet um, because I also don't want to give something where the parent is kind of looking at it and thinking like, dang, like I could liquidate that and get them a fire tablet and then get, you know, some other stuff at Target. So I think these are just like a safe thing to buy when they say tablets. And if you're planning on doing this next year, this won't really get you that far this year, but these go on sale on Black Friday for like 30 or 40 bucks. So if you're planning on doing Angel Tree and odds are the kids are probably gonna be asking for tablets, you can get the fire tablets for like 30 to 40 bucks on Black Friday if you plan ahead. Got some shoes for the kid that also got the basketball. I ended up getting a little bit of a more challenging Lego thing because um, I was told that this one was probably not gonna be challenging enough for a 12 year old. So he got a car one and this dinosaur one. Got him a ton of clothes from Old Navy. He also has the speaker. I might find one more thing tomorrow for him because his pile, like monetarily wise, it's on track with the others, but there's just like not as many things to open. And like, honestly, as a kid, I hate to say it, but quantity does play a factor in Christmas morning. For this little boy, I think nothing new here actually. Um, for this boy with the bug sheets, I got him a Roblox gift card too because people are commenting on my TikTok and saying that the gift card is probably what he's after. So I'm gonna maybe tape this to like the back of his little Roblox toy. That could be cute. He got some shirts too to match those pants that I got. Let's see what else. She has a gift bag. She wants a mini skincare fridge. So I'm gonna try and find that tomorrow. And I feel like that'll round out her little beauty 
beauty thing and maybe I can put some skincare products in it for my PR um, in there. So it's like a nice little surprise when she opens it. Barbie Dreamhouse Girl also wanted a scooter. So I got her a pink razor scooter because this was one of my favorite childhood memories was opening one of these when I was in like elementary school or middle school. Um, I got one of these for Christmas too. So I feel like hopefully this is what she meant by scooter. <laughs> Let's see, just got some more like pajamas and random stuff. And yeah, that's about it. Tomorrow I'm gonna run out and get the last couple things and then hopefully I can just go submit these, submit these, turn them in. And that way that's all off my couch and I don't want them to like be here while I have a house sitter. Um, Cause like obviously she's probably gonna wanna sit on the couch and watch some TV or something. I don't know, I've never had a house sitter before. Yeah, the goal would be to like wrap these up in tomorrow's vlog and then bring them and drop them off. And I have a little list of super specifics that I'm gonna be on the lookout for tomorrow. I think five below and maybe TJ Maxx will be everything. Just did a quick clean in the kitchen and tried to make a dent in my massive to-do list, which is like mainly just a deep clean of the apartment tomorrow. But I did some dishes, loaded the dishwasher, and I'll run it right before I go to bed. But I'm at my computer now, trying to wrap up a couple of things to get myself in like a better spot for tomorrow. It's 11.30, so I'd rather be in bed, but I think this will be quick. Judging by the bags that are growing under my eyes, I need to call it a night. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're watching this the day it actually goes live, which I believe is December 2nd, judging by the timeline of my angel tree, the deadline to drop off all the gifts is December 8th, at least in the Charleston area. So check with your local Salvation Army or like whatever charity you wanna do this through and you might still have time, but I hope you liked going on that little shopping spree together. I had a lot of fun. It's always fun to watch hauls and it's even better when it's like toys and like like all of that like child like Christmas stuff. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that I have coming up this month. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.